Hey all and welcome back to another build guide. My name is Luke and in this tutorial I'll show you a great way to make fantastic street signs to bring your layout to life. The idea for these awesome signs comes from Matt Nitka, who is a model railroader and also has a YouTube channel well worth checking out. Plenty of great tips and information in his videos. I'll put a link to his channel in the description below. Now let's get started. There are a few different ways to get signs to use. The easiest way, which requires very little effort, is to purchase a big sheet of signs from the hobby store like this. They are usually quite cheap and good quality printings. Or you can go out driving and take photos of signs yourself, then edit them in Photoshop. This usually takes quite some time and effort to align them correctly and to get them all squared up. Or you can simply do what I did for the video and find many types of signs online from all over the world. Jason Signs Australia has a great catalogue of signs worth checking out. You can also Google street signs for your particular country and find many different resources online. One great thing about this website is the sign dimensions are also listed below each sign in millimetres, which makes it very easy to figure out what size they need to be in HO scale. Once you've found a sign you'd like to use, simply take a screenshot and paste it into Microsoft Paint. From there you can crop the image down to remove the areas you don't need and then save it. To prepare the image for printing, I move into Microsoft Word. There are a couple of things I want to set up before pasting my photo. First I need the ruler which can be turned on and off here, and by default the ruler measures in inches, however for simplicity I change the measurement to millimetres. Next I copy and paste the saved image of the sign and scale it down until it measures to the desired width on the ruler. This one needs to be approximately 10mm wide and as you can see here it's almost perfect. To get more accuracy you can zoom in on the image. If you want more of the same picture just copy and paste as many times as you want and then repeat for additional images. When you're ready to print, be sure to print using the best quality you can to ensure the signs are readable. And if possible, try to use good quality paper. For these signs, I'm using the thinnest photo paper I could find. Now for the fun part. The backing for each sign will be made from aluminium can and any type of cam will do, just open it up so you can lay it flat and straighten it out as best you can. The printed sheet of signs will need to be cut out, however, leave some of the white edge when cutting out the individual signs. This will be trimmed later. Then cut a suitable sized piece of aluminium can so the sign will fit over the top. To adhere the paper to the aluminium, I'll use some spray glue. And when preparing the piece of can, remember to apply the glue to the side that has the picture on it. The can is thin enough to cut with scissors. You just need to be very patient and do your best to be as accurate as possible when trimming the sign. Depending on the sign, you may want to trim the corners as well. To further improve the detail of the sign, you can apply some silver paint to the edges to remove the visible white paper. For the pole, I'm using a styrene rod, just under 1mm in width. This equates to about 8.5 centimetres in scale terms. And as for length, I'm using just over 3 centimetres, allowing a little extra so I can press the sign into the layout. Obviously, I'll need to paint the pole silver as well. And once it's dry, I can glue the sign to the pole using super glue.
One great advantage of using thin styrene for the pole is it's quite flexible which means you can bump it and knock it without damaging the sign. For more information and specific measurements as well as a good reference for finding street signs check out bouldercreekrailroad.com. I'll post all the information there and don't forget to sign up for my newsletter to stay up to date with the news tutorials and regular updates. Cheers and thanks for watching.